Uh, congratulations to you two. Uh, you know, listen, if I were held captive in a <coughs> house of candy with a witch who I'd have to kill, I'd be pretty badass too. Yeah. Don't you think? You I think, think yeah. yeah. I think needs must. And you're in that situation. Yeah, or therapy. Yeah. yeah. It'd be one of the two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it went the other way with you guys. I mean, it Hansel, went the other way, yeah. Yeah, Hansel and Gretel. <laughs> I think they could do they a, little a little bit angry. of therapy, though, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Go to yeah. therapy. Yeah. Well, maybe back then there wasn't too much of that going on. But yeah. you took care of yourselves really well. And yeah. I have to say, like, don't you think being badass is way more fun than playing something, some boring character? Yeah. Sure, I loved, man. I loved being a bit badass. I, yeah. And getting down with my bad self. There's always been this side of me that's, like, been lurking the badass side. I love headbutting people and, you know. So it was good to let that come out <laughs> in film, in a film. <laughs> Not in real life. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, really, what was it like offset? Like, was she badass offset too? Yeah, yeah. She's not messing around. Yeah. And, I mean, listen, we know you are stuntman extraordinary. You know, you do a lot of your own stuff in all the films. So to do something like this, uh, this you guys were being kicked around, right. and bounced around. What was it like to, to do the physical stuff in this movie? We can't really train for, for that necessarily. It's like you just have to know how to get beat up. That's mm -hmm. the... That's what most stunt guys, you know, that, you, know it's, you have to get good at that. You like, have to be not afraid thing. of getting beat up because <laughs> you're probably going to get beat up a bit. Yeah. And it's, but I think when doing something like this, you, the, the biggest thing is, yeah, it's an action movie, so you have to commit to it and yeah. just go, well, this is what yeah. it is, and uh, and not be afraid and go for it. And that's what we did. It was and great fun. You did very well on that crossbow. Did he give you tips on the on the arrows and stuff here? He's, you know, he's kind of the pro in that. You know? Yeah, but he was the long he was the longbow, and mine was yeah. like. Like, like an, a machine gun version, yeah. you know. So you, really you couldn't help her out with that, Jeremy, at all? You couldn't bring your experience? No. You let me get on with no. it. No, yeah. She's like, she's like, it's, it's a cool weapon, though. It's yeah, cool. It's cool. But you had some cool weapon, too. I mean, that gun. Yeah, it was a big sort of phallic vein <laughs> shotgun. <so> phallic. <laughs> can I say that loud? You can. Is this my, is my gun? <laughs> and you know you can say anything for Canadian audiences too, right? So. Oh yeah, I love it. I love it. <laughs> they, they, whoever designed the props, they loved you. <laughs> oh, we don't want trouble. I love in the film world that you can take a fairy tale that's so dark. I mean, all of them are dark, let's face it. Mm. But, you know, and, and go 15 years or 20 years in the future. And So if there's another fairy tale that you'd want to see in the future, which one would it be and where would you want to see it go? Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, what else? I mean, most of them end happily ever after, so that would be a bit boring. The yeah. good thing about Handsome Gretel is it doesn't. It ends in on, on this kind of, and then what happened? But you know, maybe Red Riding Hood because she, like you know, one. it's a great. It's getting really that's dark. Good. That one, you know. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Anything else that you'd want to really explore in a character? No, man. I think this is. I think we did okay with this one. He's had his fill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you guys bond immediately? Did you know you hit it off right away? I mean, it's a brother and sister bond, right? It's not the romantic thing going on, did you? Yeah. We, we spoke on the phone, I remember, for the first time. Yeah. And then, um... It was pretty, like, natural, I think. It was pretty instantaneous. Yeah, you're pretty likable. Yeah, so are you. I'm, I'm, I'm quite grumpy. He's grumpy, ways. but I'm good with that. And we're, and we're quite complimentary of her, <laughs> you know, I felt like it worked. <laughs> You know, it's grumpy in the morning and I'm like, shh, shh, yes. shh, here's your coffee, drink yeah. it. <laughs> well, you guys did a great job in this. It's a lot of fun. And uh, thanks so much. And we'll see you again soon, I'm sure. Thank yeah. you.